Dumbo octopus? I've never seen that. Oh, like that in the front of it. Oof. Out is right here. Yeah. Their name, their either. fins, which help them swim at depths of at least 13,100 feet, are shaped like the ears of a popular Disney character, but they are definitely Dumbo. not elephant sized. This octopus only has <coughs> to be about eight Look at this inches dude. long. 20 They probably live at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Fish, right? Nobody no can get down. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the top of his head. <laughs> the camera is one of the cameras is the only thing that they can get down there. People, you can't get down there because if you get down there, you just like explode. They gonna blow up. Like literally, the water pressure. The grossest fish in the world is native to the it's, deep. It's what it's sad. <laughs> <laughs> it's what you call a snot nose fish. Oh, so Ugh, that's the way I'm of Australia it. and Tasmania. Like the blobfish is made mostly out of flesh that has a lower density than water, hey, so it's able to float easily while that it looks for prey. For oh, this reason, the blobfish looks very different in water than it does out of it. Because its body has a low density, uh -huh. it appears to sag when it is out of its habitat. 19. Red-lipped batfish. Everything about this fish is baffling. Scientists haven't learned why the batfish looks like it put on way too much lipstick this morning. I have a theory that it has to do with finding they look like some of them girls out there. Other than its lips, the red-lipped batfish is known for being a terrible swimmer. That's right, this fish doesn't really swim. Instead, it's clumsily on the bottom of the ocean with its fins that have semi-adapted to the motion. What makes this what fish even hell? weirder? The underside of its body and its confusing horn are covered in tiny hairs. 18. Sea pig. You'll Bad likely fish. never encounter a live sea pig because they inhabit the deepest part of the world's oceans. They can be found as deep as 3.7 miles under the sea, where they scavenge to all the weird animals are at the bottom, of course. Of course, you, you don't know about this stuff. We'll never get down there. Choosing the legs that are repeatedly inflated and deflated to move around. And although they may not look like it, sea pigs are actually a type of sea cucumber. Team, the purple frog. Their small faces and pointed Oh, what? <laughs> raisin face. Oh my god, this is, this is yeah, crazy. Wait, look, look at his head compared to his body. <laughs> <laughs> it goes like... It's now, have given these amphibians the nickname and he has a big ass back muscles of pig nose frog, but they are ultimately recognizable due to their strange purple skin. What, what is this? A frog peed on me one time and I thought I was going to get a wart. Yeah, you're supposed to get a wart. You're supposed to get a word or something. I want one of these, man. This is a purple the purple frog. frog lives most of its life underground, whereas they only come above ground. <laughs> <laughs> this is for real. This is a real thing. Yes, I can't make this up. In order to find a mate. Sixteen goblin shark at about thirteen feet long with <laughs> skin. The goblin shark could be something from a nightmare. They swim at depths of around two hundred to nine hundred feet. Often described as a living fossil with a lineage of over one hundred and twenty-five million years old. The goblin shark Damn. is also. It like a granddaddy shark. But see, these like creatures teeth. are probably never gonna go in, um, extinct. Can't even get to them. <laughs> and their mouth, which can move independently from the rest of its body. 15. Hairy frog. This hairy it's frog has earned the name the Horror can't Frog. Get to them. And for good reason, other than its creepy frog. hair, which is actually skin filled with blood vessels, the horror frog has another terrifying adaptation. When the hairy frog feels threatened, it purposefully breaks its own bones to create makeshift claws. The bones are then pushed through the skin, so razor sharp bits of broken bones are visible. 14. Mexican Mole Lizard. Okay. These creatures are a disturbing cross between a pink earthworm and a lizard. Bad. They are native to the Baja Peninsula and think only grow to be about 7 to 9 inches long. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know you that long, nigga. 
Lizard or snake creatures shows that they did indeed have like this bad fine. This is fine. But then you go along. <laughs> like, the Mexican mole lizard is bad. also capable of ditching its Most own tail. Mole. But that, once you get around it. But on the glass frog, looking at this frog from an aerial view, you'd never know there was anything different about it. But once glass. you see the underside, you'll know why we call this one the glass, glass frog. The abdominal skin is transparent, oh, yeah. making its heart, intestinal tract, liver more completely visible. 12. Giant Let's Cantor throw. Tortoise. This is one of the largest species <laughs> of tortoises in <laughs> Why is it the world. Why But it's... It's the flat, it's the flat turtle. <laughs> you know some women shake like that. weird gap. Its flat body and small <laughs> face gives it the appearance of a frog. And instead of having a hard shell, like most, the Cantor Tortoise has made its own shell beneath its skin. They grow up to six feet long. Although <sighs> they may not look like it, they can actually a formidable hunter. It <laughs> Pose. Striking speed is even faster than a king cobra. Eleven Let's... paku fish. This is not a trick. Oh, paku the paku fish, fish is actually like known for its piranha. unsettlingly human-like teeth. They are related to the piranha, but are much larger, reaching lengths of around three and a half feet. Take yeah, a deep breath, though. Paku fish have only been <laughs> falsely accused of attacking males. That is that is teeth. That that's our teeth right there. That's that's insane. Glimmers and are known to feed mostly on nuts and vegetation. Coconut oh, crab. Dear. If you were hoping that the photos of these crabs are misleading, crab we're before. sorry to disappoint you. The coconut crab is just as big and terrifying as it looks. At around Doesn't 9 pounds and 3 feet long, the crab is a monster. They are a type of hermit crab, and as their name suggests, eat coconuts. Good too. Their incredibly they powerful claws are capable of bad. climbing trees mm. and picking that's up more than 60 long. pounds. Picking up the 60 Yeti pounds, crab. The Yeti crab is a relatively new discovery Pick up 60 found pounds, in 2005 <laughs> on the coast of Antarctica. Because of their harsh habitat, the Yeti crab has made... <laughs> <laughs> they live near vents of the hair warm frog. water, meaning their living crab. space <laughs> is extreme with around 600 crabs per square meter. They also are blind. They actually have no eyes because they live at depths of 8,500 feet. 8. Echidna. The echidna is as amazing as it is weird. Echidnas are one of two species capable of laying eggs. The other is a platypus with beady eyes, short legs, a long snout, an even longer tongue, and a body covered in spines. The echidna also take the cake for strangest mammal, period. 7. Tucker. These heartwarming little deer stand at only 28 inches off the ground. Dents. Man, and them tough to deer. They got a vampire deer. And are named after the wild tuft of black oh. hair on their forehead. What makes this deer one of the strangest bambies around? Their terrible yeah. vampire teeth. The male deer grow intense canines with which they maul one another during That's mating season. Six, sea lamprey. Lampreys are 100% the stuff it nightmares like are made of. These hideous creatures they use to latch oh onto other fish. They sink their rows of teeth into the body of another fish. They feed off blood and bodily fluids. That's straight, up, that's straight up off a uh, horror movie, huh? Yeah, that one's horrible. Fish blood and body the fluids. Ocean, but are beginning oh my to God, creep into the I've great seen this shit on a movie. Well. Five giant iPod. This deep sea creepy crawly lives at depths of uh, like seven like thousand feet beneath the surface. I'll say at these dude, depths, the ocean is pitch black, oh, so they have developed a reflective retina, much like cats, that make their eyes appear to glow yeah, in the dark, pitch black, like yeah. giant squids. Their huge size is a phenomenon called deep sea gigantism, which means creatures living at amazing depths tend to be much larger than their shallower cousins. Fish. This sea creature, which inhabits the Atlantic Ocean, is still as disturbing as it was 300 million years ago. Hagfish, or slime eels, are living fossils that have changed very little over the millennia. Their mining characteristic is their revolting ability to produce slime. Tons of it. When they feel threatened, their bodies yeah. secrete gallons of slime in minutes gallons? in an effort to gallons. get people to- Gallons of slime? That's so gross. <laughs> yeah, gross. Three. These endangered creatures look like a cross between a dragon and an anteater. Pangolins are covered in tough armor, made of thick keratin oh. scales. When they feel threatened, they roll into a tight ball, making themselves impervious to harm. Pangolins can grow to be about 40 inches and long, but bite. in some cases, their tongue is actually longer than their entire body. These Ooh, incredible mammals have also a habit of carrying their newborn babies on their tail to keep them close. 
two, pink fairy armadillo. This could very well be the cutest animal to make it on our list. Of all the specimens of armadillos, this one is the smallest, living up to its name. Pink fairy armadillos grow to be about five inches long and weigh less than a pound. Unlike other Aww. armadillos, the pink fairy nice doesn't use its shell as armor. Cute. Its pastel pink covering sits on duck-billed platypus. If the duck-billed platypus hadn't earned the popular reputation of being the weirdest living thing on earth, we'd just probably think it was her. a joke. In fact, <laughs> when the platypus was discovered in the 1700s, British scientists were convinced it was a prank being played by George Shaw. Can you blame them? The duck-billed platypus is a wild mixture of a little bit like of everything. A duck, and a duck bill, and a, beaver. a beaver body, yeah. webbed feet, poisonous claws, and to top it all poisonous off, the thing lays that. eggs. Descriptions of this animal read like a sideshow attraction. <laughs> All I got to say is that is weird, but most of these animals are very fortunate that they're at the bottom of the sea, the ones that are. Because the humans can't with them. Because the humans can't mess with them. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good for you. You look weird and you'll stay down there and lay it long. <laughs>